Your first lesson for communicating skills is going to be on exercise 68, writing expository paragraphs. So expository writing does kind of three different things. So it could be an explanation of something. So it could be an explanation of how it works or of what something is. It could give directions, so how to do something, or it can simply permit, present information, which is kind of similar to that explanation piece, but it's presenting information. So this would typically be very much a non-fiction type of writing. Some examples of where you might find expository writing are in how-to books, recipe books, newspapers, reports, research projects, and leaflets. So you actually do quite a bit of expository writing for school. There are three main characteristics of expository writing. The first characteristic is that it presents or summarizes information about processes, things, events, or ideas. And we'll talk a little bit more about what these four things are as we look at the first question in part A. The second characteristic is that it gives facts or detailed information on who, what, when, where, why and how. So as you're doing expository writing, when you're trying to figure out what facts or details to include, you can brainstorm using these kind of the five W's and one H. The third characteristic is that it can contain words or images and the goal of those words and images is to make the information easier to understand. So if you think of our science projects on renewable energy, you were asked to make sure you included a diagram. So that would be part of an image. So diagrams or pictures. If we looked at our renewable energy projects as an example of expository writing, you were asked to explain what something was. So that would be where things come in. You're explaining what this type of renewable energy is. You also had to explain what the process of creating energy through this resource was. So it was doing two of these different components. You were giving facts and details on the different information, right? You had to explain kind of what it was, when it had started, where it's being used right now, why is it important, how does it work? Okay, so we had several of these different components. And as I mentioned, you needed to include both words and images in your presentation to make it easier to understand. Part A of this page is going to give you an excerpt from an expository instructional pamphlet and give you some questions to answer. So you're going to be learning a little bit about mosquitoes and how to repel them. For the first question, after you've read the little excerpt, you have to decide for that first characteristic of it presenting information, what is it presenting information on? Is this a process? Is this explaining how something works? Is it a thing? Is it explaining kind of what something is? A thing is usually a tangible object. Is it an event? So something that has happened in history? Or is it an idea? So the difference between a thing and an idea is basically that a thing is a physical object that you could touch, whereas an idea is a concept that you think about. The second question will ask you to list five facts or details that were used in this explanation. So you can look through to see, okay, in point form, what are the kind of key facts or details that they explained? For the third question, you'll need to decide for yourself, was it easy to understand? So you may have a different answer from the rest of your classmates, but what you need to be able to include is why? So in your explanation, you will need a because. I found it easy to understand because. So it could be the way that the facts are broken down. Um, or I did not find it easy to understand because. And then give your reason for why it wasn't easy. For part B, they're going to ask you to write an expository paragraph. So in your book, it specifically asks to write about some event that happened in your school or community during the last couple of weeks. Now, we are in a very strange time, so I am completely opening up this topic to just kind of something from recent events. So a few options could be that you could write about spring break, you could write about the schools being closed and what that looks like, 
You could also do like a how-to for social distancing and what's the process of social distancing or social distancing could also be argued that it is an idea. So you could explain that idea and that process. Make sure that you are using the three characteristics that we went over at the beginning, right? So is it a process thing, event, or idea? Give facts and details on who, what, when, where, why, and how. And make sure you've got words and images. So if you want to include an image in your paragraph, that's fine. I know that all of you will immediately tell me when I ask you how many sentences a paragraph needs to be, at least five. So remember that this is five plus sentences. I will post an answer key for this in a couple of days. And when I have done so, if you would like, you can take a picture of your paragraph because that will be the part that's different so that I can just see what you chose to write on.